During World War II, when bombs cut through cities and electricity vanished without warning, people learned something terrifying. When the lights go out, life stops. Communication stops. Medicine stops. Hope stops. But in the middle of that darkness, a simple tool quietly replaced the need for generators. No fuel, no batteries, no electricity. Just human hands and a brilliant piece of mechanical engineering that still works today and could save millions in the next grid failure. This is the World War II tool that replaced generators. In the 1940s, blackouts weren't rare. They were expected. Entire cities would dim their lights at night to avoid becoming bombing targets. Power plants failed, lines snapped, and fuel was strictly rationed. When the grid went silent, people couldn't rely on diesel generators. They were loud, fragile, expensive, and impossible to run during wartime fuel shortages. The noise alone could give away a position to the enemy. The world needed a power source that couldn't be bombed, couldn't run out of fuel, and couldn't easily break. So engineers turned backward to a tool older than electricity itself. The solution was shockingly simple the hand crank dynamo, a device powered entirely by muscle, converting raw human force into clean, usable electricity. There was no noise, no fumes, no dependence on a fragile supply chain. And during the war, these devices appeared everywhere. They powered field radios, allowing soldiers to communicate from the front lines. They lit medical lamps in field hospitals, enabling surgeons to work through the night. They drove emergency sirens, signal transmitters, and even early battery chargers. One person turning one crank could suddenly generate power in the darkest, most isolated places on Earth. The tool wasn't glamorous, but it worked. And in war, working meant surviving. A hand crank dynamo didn't need maintenance, oil changes, or coolant. It didn't overheat, and it certainly didn't explode. It produced electricity through one fundamental principle, discovered by Michael Faraday back in 1831. Move a magnet through a coil of wire and you get power. The faster you cranked, the brighter the light or the stronger the radio signal. It was simple, reliable physics. Physics that doesn't fail even when an entire civilization's grid collapses. And unlike a gas generator, a dynamo could run indoors, underground, or deep inside a bunker without revealing your position or poisoning the air. This wasn't just technology, it was stealth survival. Here's the part that surprises most people. This WW2 tool didn't disappear. Today, the same core technology powers off-grid communication and survival radios. You'll find it in water purifiers, flashlights, and USB chargers designed for emergency kits. In remote areas without reliable electricity, modern versions power essential medical devices. When a hurricane hits, when wildfires knock out power lines, when an earthquake shatters infrastructure, hand-powered electricity often becomes the first and only reliable source. Because no matter what chaos unfolds outside, your own two hands don't run out of power. Our world today is more electrified and more fragile than it has ever been. One sophisticated cyber attack, one catastrophic grid failure, one major solar storm, and millions could be left without power for weeks. But a hand crank generator doesn't care if the grid collapses. It doesn't care if your phone battery is dead, if fuel is gone, or if the world has gone silent. It gives you light. It gives you communication. It gives you a connection to the outside world when everything else goes dark. In war, the hand crank dynamo was a lifeline. In blackouts, it was hope. And in the next crisis, it may be the difference between fear and control. Because real survival isn't just about stocking up. It's about understanding the tools that never fail. And sometimes the most powerful tool of all is the one powered by you.